Hey guys, just uh, painting up the snorkels. So I got everything all laid out, marked up, sanded. Make sure you sand. Uh, I sanded with 180 just to take the shine off. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but it's uh, you know a little rough to the touch. I got the CVT snorkels painted up. Uh, make sure you sand the inside as well and uh, paint the inside too, right? Because you're going to be looking at them. And I would suggest you start with the inside first. So that way any sort of overspray you can kind of clean up before you uh, you continue on. So as you can tell there, you can wipe all that extra off. And then continue on. So I'll show you guys. Uh, make sure you keep your tip clean. This is the uh, the Rocker Guard uh, rubberized asphalt type shit that you get from bought the stuff from Canadian Tire for like eight dollars a tube for, or a can on sale. And as you can tell, it covers quickly. You got to be very careful not to uh, do too much on it. So it, it's better to be cautious and and do small short bursts like you know small passes take your time let it dry i'm probably going to do probably two coats on uh on each one by the time i'm done so but so far pretty happy with how things are turning out I'm liking this uh, Rocker Guard. I did a test piece the other day and uh, tried to scratch it up and it seemed to really hold up to the abuse and uh, I also did, I know that a lot of uh, a lot of the snorkel manufacturers and, and a lot of other guys use Rocker Guard as well because it's pretty hardy stuff and it, uh, it, it takes a lot of abuse before it chips and uh, because it's it's kind of uh, rubberized right it flexes which means it's more likely uh, not to chip. So, you know, get my box covered in paint there. Should probably cover that up. Well, more to come.